All right, so let's take a look at a couple of the homework problems. I had asked you to do two on practice 5-7. Uh, so just taking a look at a couple random ones. I'm looking at number six. For problem number six, it says that A is 15, B is 18, and C is 20. And what we always want to do is we always want to find the largest angle first, which would be angle C. So the way that we do that is we find the cosine of angle C is equal to A squared plus B squared minus C squared over 2AB. Let's see what this is. Yeah, one forty nine over. This is five forty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the inverse cosine of both sides. If I take the inverse cosine of one forty nine over five forty. That tells me 74 degrees. All right, so it's that 74. We can make a full law of sines fraction. 20 over the sine of 74 is equal to, I'll find angle A. And if I get an answer that doesn't make sense, instead of finding angle A, I'll find angle B first. What I say by make sense is we want the largest angle opposite the largest side. So if we cross multiply and divide, uh, this is going to be 0 0.7209, whatever. And if we take the inverse sine of both sides, this is 46.1 degrees. And to get angle B, we do 180 minus A and C. 180 minus 46.1 and then minus 74 comes out to be 59.9. So let's see, largest angle, largest side, smallest angle, smallest side. So that works out. All right, we'll do one more. Take a look at number, let's see, that's six. So maybe we'll do number 10. And number 10, it says A is 10. C is 8, and B is 100 degrees. So you could see that we don't have enough information to make a full law of sines fraction. So we're going to have to do law of cosines. And we only have angle B, so I'm going to use the formula with angle B in it. That's B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine of B. So let's plug in our numbers. Let's see what this is here. So 10 squared plus 8 squared minus 2, 10, 8, and then the cosine of 100. I'm going to type it in exactly like I wrote it here. And that's 191.78, whatever. If I take the square root of both sides, and that comes out to 13.8. So now that I have that side, I can make a law of sines fraction with 13.8 over the sine of 100 is equal to 10 over the sine of A. 
And if I don't get the largest side opposite the largest angle, or smallest side opposite the smallest angle, instead of finding angle A, I would find angle C instead and see if that gives me a good answer. So 10 times the sine of 100 divided by 13.8. Make sure you close your parentheses. I'm getting that the sine of A is equal to 0 0.7136, whatever. And if we take the inverse sine of both sides, we get 45.5 degrees. To get angle C, we do 180 minus A and B. 180 minus 45.5 minus 100 uh, gives me 34.5 degrees. Smallest side, smallest angle, largest side, largest angle. All right, so everything worked out. Uh, stay tuned for today's lesson.